creating dashboards and adding content to dashboard pages. I am a sales manager and I want to create a dashboard and add content to track my team's revenue. I click create a dashboard and complete the new dashboard dialog. I enter sales performance in the name field. I enter a description. I know this is an optional field and that the description does not display on the actual dashboard, but it could help team members when reviewing or searching for content in the catalog. I accept the default location for the dashboard because I know that when it is saved in the default subfolder, the name of the dashboard will display in the dashboards link in the global header. I know that I can add content now or later. I select the Add Content Later Create Empty Dashboard option button because I have a meeting to attend. I click OK to create the new dashboard and sign off. I have returned to my desk from my meeting. I want to add content to my newly created sales performance dashboard. I want to track my team's progress by adding the brand revenue analysis. On the home page, I can see sales performance. I click the sales performance link to open the dashboard. I want to edit the dashboard to add the brand revenue analysis. So I click page options and then I select edit dashboard. In the Dashboard Builder, I can add pages, add columns and sections, add content, specify print options, and so on. I want to add an analysis. In the Catalog pane on the left in the Dashboard Builder, I navigate to the Brand Revenue Analysis. I drag and drop Brand Revenue in the Page Layout area. I know that when I drag and drop an analysis in the Page Layout area of a new Dashboard page, a new column and section are created automatically into which the analysis is placed. I want to preview the dashboard, so I click the Preview button in the toolbar. I close the preview. I anticipate adding dashboard pages, so I want to rename this dashboard page. I click the Tools button and then I select Dashboard Properties. I use the Dashboard Properties dialog to add a description, add filters, variables, prompts, and report links. I can change the dashboard page name, reorder the way dashboard pages display, hide dashboard pages, and so on. I select Page 1 in the Dashboard Pages table and then I click the Rename button above the table. I enter revenue in the name field to rename the dashboard page. I want to add a new dashboard page that will eventually contain regional sales analyses. I click the Add Dashboard Page button. I enter regional sales stats in the page name field and I also enter an optional description. My new dashboard page is now ready for me to add objects. I want to save and run the sales performance dashboard. I click save and then I click run. Now that I've created this dashboard and added the brand revenue analysis, I can track and assess my team's performance. Thanks for watching.